So let us understand dynamic volume provisioning. So it is done by using storage class. So in this method, PV not to be created manually. PV will be created automatically by the PVC, which means now we do not have to create PV and PVC separately via two different YAML files. We just have to create a PVC and based on the claim request, a PV will be created automatically. Okay, but for that a storage class has to be defined inside the Kubernetes cluster. So if you see this time, we have some storage classes. So we have a storage class gold, silver or bronze in the same setup. Okay, the, the setup will work same like down below you will have your physical devices, storage servers, disks types and on this disk types a PV will be created and a PVC will claim that PV. Okay, but the PV YAML can will not uh, be created separately. So a storage class is a Kubernetes object. This is also an object that stores information about creating a persistent volume for your pod. So this storage class stores the information how to create okay uh, the persistent volume for your pod. So you see this is now this time is again is a claim file persistent PVC claim uh, PVC file okay and the, the name is dynamic PVC so what have changed this time is the storage class name is a standard earlier it used to be manual so now the storage class name is a standard why so the administrator must have created and configured that class for dynamic provision to occur so this class name standard is already created in your cluster by the administrator okay and on Google Cloud AWS and Azure I mean on the public clouds or any private cloud also if you need the um, uh, dynamic provisioning which is obviously needed a default storage class is created for you already which uses the standard persistent disk type so in my cluster if I get this kubectl get storage class so I will get this output so you see there are three storage classes that already exist and out of these three standard is the default one okay so this is standard default storage class use GCE PD type of disk that means um, Google Cloud persistent disk type okay for creating a PV based on this PVC okay and there are some other storage classes also exist and if you describe them you will get the difference between them okay what what is the premium storage class what is the standard what is the standard read write okay so storage class is nothing but you have classified the storage into uh, into uh, ranking of let's say fast standard or slow disks okay and you can claim based on the storage classes so let's go to the practice of uh, dynamic volume provisioning and let's see what we can do in the cluster.